an Excel file it's calling a new iPad robot. Wow, let's see it. So we have here some values. Let's say uh, test uh, YouTube, YouTube, and let's put uh, the hour, which is uh, 16, uh, 16, like this. Yeah. And let's click start. Good. So he get the process ID, and then after he get the process ID, is waiting on a loop for the robot to respond. And after the robot to respond, we have the response. And <laughs> look here, he read it as not as a string. Yeah. So the test was um, test YouTube and value. So hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and you know me for a lot of integration with you, but you have the Salesforce connector, the ServiceNow connector, the Jira connector, Confluence and so on. I did a lot of videos about how to start robots from different software and how robots are communicated with um, um, uh, Microsoft Teams, Slack and a lot of other softwares. Today, like I show you on the preview, it's uh, it's an another uh, idea. So let's see how we can start the new iPad robot from Excel. Let's understand why I say this. Think about that. A lot of big, a lot of companies are. They have a lot of processes based on Excel. They have a lot of data on the Excel, and um, uh, they have a lot of macros and so on. And sometimes on this Excel, they need to calculate something very complex from another software. Yeah, and then the result will be exactly will become on the excel and the excel will will result, uh, will, uh, will get um, will be their database yeah so based on these uh, uh, systems i say okay let's see if i'm able to start a new ipad robot from excel now uh, today don't um, uh, i don't uh, take the the same approach like in microsoft teams or in outlook yeah remember on microsoft teams or when i started from outlook i use power automate i go on power automate and when it was an, an event on uh, outlook on uh, microsoft teams i start a path robot i send data to the UEP robot to the UEP orchestrator and i communicate today i will not do it like this if you want to do it like this with excel uh, no problem, you, you take a look on the uh, video with uh, Teams and Outlook and you understand how we do this via Power Automate. Today, I will do it from VBA, yeah? So let's understand what means uh, this process. If you remember my movies, <clears throat> I normally use the orchestrator on uh, cloud. If you want to use the orchestrator on-prem, um, you have here a video dedicated for the comments on Postman on orchestrator on-prem, yeah? So you have this orchestrator Postman on-prem. On the cloud, we have a process. We use the same process as uh, uh, that we use on the um, demonstration with Microsoft Teams. On demonstration with Microsoft Teams, I have a process where I have three parameters. I send him to para three parameters, and he concatenates these parameters and return me uh, an, um, uh, the return is and concatenate between these three parameters. Okay. Now, uh, the basic for the starting the process it's uh, uh, it's this one. You see it already. Uh, you see the so basically, we will um, uh, get the authorization token. We'll um, uh, then we'll uh, only one time we'll get the process release key and we'll keep this one. We'll start the process. Then we'll stay on the loop to see if the process is finished. And if the process is finished, well, we'll print the output. But let's start with the basic. So the basic are like this. In the Excel, I will take some data from Excel and I will add, for me to, um, to be able to show you this very fast, I will add a button. I will go to developer for this. If you don't have developer, you have to go here on the customize and you will have to add the developer tab. And on the developer tab, I will say add a button from ActiveX controller. Yeah. And I add this button. I'm able to go and change the name of the button and so on, but not, this is not important. Here inside, inside of the, the button, I can put a, process, an, um, a function, yeah? And let's say MS, uh, MS uh, box, hello world, yeah? Hello world. Yeah, let's put it like this, yeah? So, and I can test it from here. And I click save and uh, uh, let's save it. Yes. 
and then I can test this uh, hello world uh, system. Yeah, that's the idea. But my logic today is to uh, to do from this button to be able to uh, to do an um, REST API. Yeah, so to be able on this button to do a REST API connection to orchestrator and get the data. As usual on my movies, I will share all the, all, all the code with you. You will find all the code on the GitHub. Yeah, so you can go on the GitHub and you'll find the, uh, uh, the code. So on the GitHub, you have my GitHub where I have, I, have, I have all the code for all the software that I create. We'll see the code for Excel also here. Yeah, good. Now, inside of this VBA, Let's see what I have. Now I start, and you see that uh, it's uh, um, it's working. So that was not the the target. The target is to to show you the let's put design mode, and on design mode, if I double click, I will show you the code. So first, you need to use this MS SQL server to be able to send HTTP request. By default, the system will not have this um, HTTP request. So you have to go here. And on the reference, I add two things. So I add HTTP service for version change uh, 5.1, but it's not so mandatory, but this is mandatory. Microsoft XMLA uh, v60, yeah? So you add this one and you are able to uh, to use the, the the request to be able to make request. So what I will do? First, I will uh, here these are defining some variables. Here I will get authorization authorization token. Uh, here to be able to uh, to make a comment, uh, you will do it like this. Yes. After I do the authorization token, so with all the stuff that uh, I showed you, here I have to extract the authorization token. So. I send a JSON to be able to create a JSON. Here I create a string, and when I want to use double comma, I put here like double in this in this way here, be able to uh, use the uh, quotation marks. Yeah, and here normally I have to parse the JSON. By default, the system doesn't have a JSON parser. You can use if you go on GitHub and you uh, search for VBA JSON, it's a very nice um, uh, JSON parser in VBA. But because uh, I don't have all the rights on my Excel, and maybe also in your case, you will not have all the rights on Excel, you need the administrator rights to be able to install this on your VBA. So because of this, I prefer to say, OK, I will not use the JSON parser. And I will try to extract from, uh, from JSON. I will extract the data exactly how I see it. So basically, I have a string. And like I said, I will provide this code, and the code will work for you. But I will explain the code. So I use function from string, which are substring. This is mid. It's, uh, it's extracting a string between one interval and one interval. In string, it's um, index of. If you remember on your EPA Studio, you have index of for string. So what I do? For example, here, the response is like this. So I will say, I will search between access token and uh, uh, ID token, and I will extract the, 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 the code between this, yeah? So I basically, I make a substring, and I, I get the auto authorization value, yeah? Authentication value, and the authentication value is beer that this one, yeah? So I, then I have some parameters, and parameters will be, in my case, um, these values, A1, A2, A3, yeah? So I'll say that the parameters will be range A1, A2, A3. Then I will see here, I will see that uh, I will start the process. I will start the process. So I say start process. OK. And I send a command to start the process. I complete the, uh, the JSON with, with parameters. Then I send a comment. And after I send a comment, I have to extract the ID of the process because Next step, if you remember on the picture, we need to stay on a loop to see when the process is finished. Yeah. So again, using different uh, uh, substring and trim and um, uh, uh, different finding different elements on the string. For example, here I find the ID, and based on the ID, I get the ID of the process. I extract the ID of the process, and then I will make a loop here. Yeah. 
So you can see here that I put a new URL where I search for the ID of the process. And here I define the loop, yeah? So uh, loop, loop to see that the process, process is done, yeah? So I wait on the loop. I put a delay of 10 seconds. If you want less delay, you can put uh, five seconds, for example, here, or how you want. It's very easy to, to work with this. I send the comment, and in the, the comment, if the state is successful, then I will exit the loop. Here, if, put, look, if we put five seconds, basically, he will stay only one minute after the process. But you need to know how long will be your process, yeah? Depends on your process. In, in my case, the process is just uh, concatenate the, the three values, yeah? And on the end, I will print the output of the process, yeah? So, like I said, the... Um, the system just make a concatenation between uh, all my, um, so printing the result. Here I have print the result. Okay, and uh, the result I will put, uh, the big result will be on the, uh, on the, C, uh, on the C3 column. And uh, the extract exactly my result will be on C4, yeah? So this is the code that we'll share on the uh, GitHub where an VBA, it's able to call, uh, to call the uh, UiPath orchestrator, the, the, the cloud orchestrator and um, execute the process and then get also the response of the process, yeah? So let's, uh, let's run it again and let's modify some uh, data here. So we click save on this one, yes. Uh, let's put uh, this to tube final, final. Okay. Um, and uh, let's exit the design mode. Let's delete this one. He will overwrite it, no problem. And test YouTube final. And if we take a look here on the uh, process, it was a process um, uh, run a few seconds ago, yeah? If we stay on the orchestrator, let's uh, run it again. And we'll, uh, we'll stay on the orchestrator. You will see that the process is running on the PC. And um, then after it's running, we'll finish and uh, get our response. I don't have some, no, if he says an update. Yep, the process uh, finished a few seconds ago. Okay, so in this way, you are able to start a new iPad robot on the orchestrator from VBA. So basically you have your big Excel with a lot of data and when you need to, uh, to move some part of that data and uh, send the data to a process that will calculate, let's say with ServiceNow, Salesforce, Jira and other software, the um, UAPI robot on the orchestrator will do all the job and then will return your, um, uh, your um, uh, result on Excel and maybe in Excel you'll continue the macro and do other stuff, yeah? So this is another approach to see how you can start a new iPad robot from Excel. As usual, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share it with your colleagues and um, comment on the videos and tell me what else you want to see on my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one and stay safe.